You're listening to Xi Jinping, The Governance of China, an audiobook produced by CGTN. Why does China value its relationship with Africa? To quote a Chinese saying, the ocean is vast because it rejects no rivers. China, the world's largest developing country, and Africa, the continent with the largest number of developing countries, have long formed a community with a shared future. Indeed, we share a common stake. China will work with Africa to achieve our shared goal of building a closer China-Africa community with a shared future, and turn it into a pace setter for building such a community for mankind. First, let us build a China-Africa community with a shared future to assume our joint responsibility. We could increase political and policy dialogue at various levels, enhance mutual understanding and support on issues involving each other's core interests and major concerns, and boost coordination on major international and regional issues. Such efforts will enable us to uphold the common interests of China and Africa, as well as other developing countries. Second, let us build a China-Africa community with a shared future that pursues win-win cooperation. We could both seize the opportunity created by the complementarity between our respective development strategies and the major opportunities presented by the Belt and Road Initiative. We need to see to it that the Belt and Road Initiative and the AU Agenda 2063, the UN 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development. And the development programs of African countries better complement each other. With these efforts, we could expand areas of cooperation, unlock new cooperation potential, consolidate our traditional areas of cooperation, and foster new highlights of cooperation in the new economy. Third, let us build a China-Africa community with a shared future that delivers happiness for all of us. Making lives better for our people is what we aim to achieve in growing China-Africa relations. So we need to make sure our cooperation delivers real benefits to us both in China and in Africa. Mutual help and solidarity is what has defined China-Africa relations over the years. Going forward, China will do more to help Africa alleviate poverty, pursue development, increase employment and income. And better the lives of its people. Fourth, let us build a China-Africa community with a shared future that enjoys cultural prosperity. Both China and Africa are proud of our splendid civilizations, and we are both ready to make greater contributions to promoting cultural diversity in the world by enhancing exchanges, mutual learning. And harmonious coexistence of our civilizations, we will inject a lasting impetus into invigorating our civilizations and cultures, enriching our artistic creations, and provide rich cultural nourishment for China-Africa cooperation. With more people-to-people -people exchanges in culture and art, education, sports, and between our think tanks, the media, the women and young people, we will strengthen the bond between the people of China and Africa. Fifth, let us build a China-Africa community with a shared future that enjoys common security. People that have gone through adversity value peace most. China champions a new vision of security featuring common, comprehensive, cooperative, and sustainable security. We firmly support African countries and the African Union, as well as other regional organizations in Africa, in solving African issues in the African way. And we support the African initiative of silence the guns in Africa. China is ready to play a constructive role in promoting peace and stability in Africa, and will support African countries to strengthen their independent capacity for safeguarding stability and peace. Sixth, let us build a China-Africa community with a shared future that promotes harmony between men and nature. The Earth is the only place which we mankind call home. China will work with Africa to pursue green, low-carbon, circular, and sustainable development, and protect our lush mountains and lucid waters and all living beings on our planet. We will strengthen exchange and cooperation with Africa on climate change, clean energy, prevention and control of desertification and soil erosion. 
protection of wildlife and other areas of ecological and environmental preservation. Together, we could make China and Africa beautiful places for people to live in harmony with nature. You've been listening to Xi Jinping, the Governance of China, brought to you by CGTN. For more episodes, you can download the CGTN app or log onto our website at cgtn.com.